Left foot slow on the heel. Up on the toe to dance the chasse. Quick, quick, slow. And repeat the basic. Walk and a chasse. A walk and a chasse. A walk and a chasse. She will also show you that the only time she takes two walks is when she starts dancing. This is called the preparation walk. She goes A, walk, walk, and chasse step. One walk and a chasse step. A walk and a chasse step. A walk and a chasse step. Each time I say the word chasse, it means a series of three little steps that can be danced sideways, forward, or back. You'll learn more about this as we continue. So dancing the basic step, I have to show you one important thing. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. When we did that, the man went between the lady's feet. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. But as we continue, the man's right foot now goes outside the lady, doesn't come between because that will hit the lady's foot. Our feet apart, the rule to avoid hitting the lady's right foot is for the man to step outside. Quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, outside, quick, quick, slow. Only the foot goes outside, not the entire body. Okay, we dance this to music. And as you can see, we dance it once around this room to show you how the basic can be easily adapted to dance around corners and go around the room. We'll now continue with step two, the first variation aside from the basic step. Then this is called the forward lock. It, essentially, it's a forward lock for man and a back lock for lady, like this. We'll dance the basic step, the forward lock, and basic step. Slow, slow, quick, quick, 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 slow. The man step for the forward lock. I'm going to dance some basic first. Slow slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Now as I stand here, you notice my body is parallel to the curtain or my partner, if she was there, and my feet is pointed in that direction. Now that direction is where I take the, the next series of steps for the forward lock without changing my body shape and position. So I take step one, right foot forward in front of left foot. Step two, left foot forward on the toe. Step three, right foot cross behind on the toe. Step four, left foot forward, come down. And then step five, basic step, right foot forward, chassis. So I hope you can see that I took all my steps in a diagonal. We call these diagonally forward steps. So I start again from that point. I have slow, quick, quick, slow. Continue forward, basic step. Now the lady step. And couple basic steps and slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Now, she's going to go back 
without turning the body. One, you could just turn your shoulders to show them what you mean, and the other way. Make sure you don't do those things. Keep them exactly. Now you're going back diagonal. Now you can't see where you're going, so it's tough. So you have to go back left foot behind right foot. You're going to go up on the toes, right toe. Cross left foot in front of right foot, and uncross with the right foot back. And then back left foot for basic. Quick, quick, slow. Now, I'm going to ask Wendy to come back and do it slowly. I'm going to give her help with balance because I need to say a few words. So can you do the basic again? And slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. First of all, let's concentrate on the feet. She's going to go back left foot behind right foot, slow. Now, every time she takes the right foot, I want the lady to make sure you have some space between the knees. Open the knees, as opposed to right behind. No good. Open. That way, when you cross in front, it's easy. Trust me, it's a lot easier. Open the feet again, and come down. Slow, 